We're going to start off introducing ourselves. I'm Tony. And I'm Chantel. And we're the Tony, Tony and Tell Show. And we want to thank you for taking the time out to do this interview with us today. Absolutely. Thank you for asking. Okay. Oh, no problem. Okay, so um, you and your family are one of the families featured on, you know, the Lifetime Show, um, The Preacher's Daughters. Yeah. You know, what is it like having the cameras follow you around all the time? You know, at first, it was definitely a little strange when you're not used to something like that, you know, having a mic on or a camera right here, but you get used to it, and the crew and everybody's just awesome, so you just get really comfortable, and right. you just get to be yourself, and you, you do, you forget that there's actually a camera on you at times, so it's, it's awesome, it's a lot of fun. Okay, and I want to know, what is it like having um, pastors as parents? <laughs> that is a good question. Um, you know, it's it's interesting. I don't really know any different because it's just long, as far back as I can remember. My parents have always been in the ministry. My dad preaching, my mom, you know, going out and speaking or whatever they were doing, and we were always with them. It's it's a lot of extra pressure, I think, when you are a kid, um, a pastor's kid, a preacher's kid. Just you didn't ask for it, and it was it's kind of just put on you because I think everybody in the church assumes that you always make the right choices and you always do the right thing and when you don't they make sure to judge hard and I don't think that yeah. that's fair at all and I think you guys saw that a lot in Megan's story this season where she yeah. was kind of put in a role that she didn't really ask for and oh. it, it's it's definitely hard it's definitely hard to be a preacher's kid I mean it just yeah. is so do you find it um to have more pressure now that the cameras are on or is it just normal? You know, I think it's not necessarily more pressure because I feel like we are being ourselves. It's just you're opening yourself up to this huge audience to judge you and not like yeah. right. you. And that's really hard sometimes. Um, you know, we, we read the comments, we read the tweets, sometimes we shouldn't, but we do, we're <laughs> human and sometimes they hurt our feelings. You know, but yeah. really the good has completely outweighed the bad and everybody has been so receptive of our family and we're just, we're so thankful and so blessed to be able to be a part of it for sure. Right. And like you said, knowing that we live in a judgmental world, everyone is going to judge you. What made you decide, your family decide to do a reality show, you know? Yeah, no, that's a good question. Um, we get asked that question a lot and, you know, my mom's answer is always to dispel the myths that Christians aren't perfect. Because we're not, right. we just love Jesus and we serve a God that loves us back and yeah. you're going to make mistakes. You're going to make bad choices. You may not say the right word all the time. I mean, I may have said a word right. or two this season, but <laughs> at the end of the day, we know that Jesus loves us and we know how much we love him and we're thankful to be able to share our faith with the world. All right. So what's the best, best and worst part about being on a reality show and being you know, preachers or daughters, the kids. You know. Yeah, the probably the the best part has been the fan support and just the love that you guys and everybody has given us, and just how everybody's embraced our family and embraced the show. Um, hmm. But with that comes probably the same thing, and the worst part is, you know, just some of the not nice things people say about you, and you yeah. you want to defend yourself so bad because you're like, no, 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 I promise I'm not that. You only saw a little bit of me this week. Right, I'm, right. I'm not that catty or I'm not that whatever. Um, you know, so that's been hard, like I said earlier, because, you know, we our feelings get hurt. But the good has yeah. completely outweighed any of the bad. And we just are so thankful for the support from the fans. Right, right. So uh, now on the clip that I've seen, um, they were having a bachelorette party for you and you know, the, the pizza guy walked in and you were like looking at him crazy. Like, you know, <laughs> why, why is he coming in here? So what, what was that, what was that like for you? Like, were you not expecting No, him? not one bit. <laughs> hand to God. I had no clue. I was really <laughs> wanting pizza and he did not deliver pizza as we all know. So I am really, I was really sad that I wasn't getting pizza. I was truly, really hungry. So my friend Sean, that actually, I guess, ordered the stripper. I don't know. If that's right. <laughs> um, she, she and I are huge foodies, and we love to go out in Nashville and eat dinner. Like we love food. Okay, like love food. 
So when I kept asking her, I'm like, is there pizza? Is there food? She's like, oh, there's pizza. It's coming. It's coming. I was like, oh, she would totally order the pizza because of how much we love to go out to eat together. And right. she didn't order the right kind. So. <laughs> yeah. I know I look like a 12-year-old girl, like running away and screaming in my room, but I I just was really uncomfortable that that was going on in my house. So, yeah. so that never happened to you before, though? Never. I've never... <laughs> <laughs> never I've never been to one of those places. I've never been to like a party that had a guy like that. No, it was all very new. I mean, I'm serious. I'm 31 and I swear, I know, I know. I look like a 12 year old. <laughs> Uncomfortable. Okay, we, we see your mom very strict with your younger sister, Kobe. Yes. Who had it worse, you or her? That was definitely me. Definitely me. I. <laughs> All the rules have kind of changed over the years and, like, gotten less lenient, less lenient, you know, as it's gone on. So, I mean, and I joke with my sisters. I'm like, I had it the hardest. I'll take the fall. You know, I'm misdramatic about it. But they all, they all kind of have their own strict rules, but mine were definitely the most strict. So, I'm always like, if you guys think my mom is strict now, try, like, 15 years ago. Did she make you wear the pregnant belly? No pregnant belly, but I had the flower baby. You know, like the four-pound yeah. bag of flour. And his name was Hayden, and he broke everywhere. So. <laughs> but I've never dropped my own kid, so it's okay. Yeah, but well, that's good. I think that's good because I, I had that in high school, the flower baby, and, you know. So I think it's a good teaching and learning lesson, you know, for young kids and stuff. But, you know, we have the teen mom that's out here and. A lot of us think that the young kids think that's cool, and the young some kids see that it's really not. And I know you had the sex talk with Kobe. Mm -hmm. Do your do your younger sister look up to you and like come to you for questions about that? Because like you say, some stuff you can't say to mom yeah. and act. That's and true, and and I'm I'm thankful. You know, it's Kobe and I are 14 years apart. Kendra and I are 10, so I'm kind of thankful for our age difference. Where if they don't feel comfortable going to my mom, and we all talk about. A lot of stuff with our mom but you know sometimes you're like I just needed somebody else to talk to so I'm thankful that they can come to me and we can all kind of talk about it but my family's very close so usually what is said to one sister gets back to the other and then the mom and then everything <laughs> kind of involved it's it's awesome I wouldn't trade it for anything yeah. all right so what is something that uh, people might not know about you from watching the show Probably, hmm, that's a good question. Um, I'm, I'm in real estate. I'm a realtor here in Nashville. I've been doing that for seven years. It's my career. I get to stay at home with my daughter, but also, you know, sell houses. So it's, it's awesome. I love it. And then I don't know if you guys saw in the last episode, but what they wrote about us, but Chad and I are expecting baby number two in a few weeks. So yes, I'm very pregnant. I would show you my belly, but it's a little <laughs> scary how big it is right now. Uh, <laughs> but I just, and I kind of wanted to clear that up a little bit, too, that I was not pregnant at all during filming. It, we found out several months after we had wrapped second season. So everybody's like, okay. was she pregnant? Knew the whole, I'm like, no, 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 I didn't. Uh, it was several months after that I got pregnant so when we were done. So it's been a hard secret to keep, but I... I wanted to make sure everybody could see the whole season because everything that we went through as a family and as a couple, Chad and I was so real and so raw. Yeah. That I just wanted to, we kept it a secret, what, you know, with, with the baby. So, yeah. Baby's coming in a few weeks. <laughs> so now you guys are on a reality show. Are there any other reality shows that you watch yourself? I'm a Real Housewives junkie. <laughs> totally Real Housewives junkie. And I love, like, Juliana and Bill. I love Juliana. Oh, yeah. yeah. I just love her. Oh, I love her. It's Bill. such a great show. Yeah. And, yeah, I, I just love Real Housewives. <laughs> I do. Love it. Love it. Yeah. What? Oh, okay. Now, um, I want to go back to you and your husband, Chad. He's a cutie. He's a sweetie he guy. Is. Um, you shut down his vow, his proposal, <laughs> but you you guys also renewed your we vow. Did. But you know, I know, this is my opinion on it. I know some people are going to look at it and say, oh, why did she do that? But what I liked about it was you was honest and you was real. And that's what I loved. I was like, you know what? She's not lying and she's not lying. She's going to be honest. If they're having problems, we need to see that because, you no, know, not everything is all 
rainbows and butterflies and put a band-aid on, it's going to heal up. No. And that's what I love. No, about and it. I really appreciate that. I took a lot of heat in social media because of that. And I think, you know, everybody's like, you could have saved face and you could have said yes. And for me, no camera, I would have done the same thing. So, right. it, you know what? I'll, it, that was my answer. That was how I was feeling at the moment. <laughs> he, he yeah. you're talking about the stripper caught me off guard. Chad caught me off guard. Okay. <laughs> like I was like, uh, what's happening? So you definitely probably saw me at not my finest moment some of this season, and that was probably one of them. I did not mean to humiliate my husband and embarrass him. That was not what my intention was at all. I that was just the most honest answer and it came from such a place of honesty that even I was like, Oh God, did that just come out of my mouth? Yeah. <laughs> so is there has there ever been more than well, is there ever a uh, one moment that you looked on the show and seen and said that maybe you wouldn't you wish you wouldn't have said that or did that? Probably um I probably overreacted about my mom and Colby taking Salem to church. Church. I <laughs> right. did guilty to that. Um, but I think what I was trying to get across was I didn't know where she was. And that was what yeah. I was really more upset about was that I just wanted to yeah. know if your plans change, just tell me. But that was it. I had no issue with them taking my daughter to church. None. Whatsoever. Yeah. I mean, I go to church, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I was just mad because I was like, you know, yeah. why isn't she at the zoo? I'm calling them and they're not answering, you know, all that kind of stuff. It was just a big misunderstanding. Again, not my finest moment this season. <laughs> <laughs> and I love that she told you. Like, she's like, Mommy, we went to church. <laughs> well, we were joking about that, and I told Colby, Salem calls Colby Coco. And uh, I said, Coco, you you cannot expect a four year old to keep your secret. Like she's, no. Are you kidding? That kid tells everything. Yes, I love that. Oh, she's beautiful. Thank too. you. I, yeah, she's my little sweet pea. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, are you guys having a season three? We are not sure. You'll have to wait and see. That is the answer I can give you. Wait and see. Okay. Well, if there is a season three, will you be back? Wait and see. <laughs> oh, this is perfect for me. Okay, with um with Colby and um Micah, which is her the guy she was dating. Yes. When your when your dad met him, he put him in like a little. He's a wrestler. He's an ex wrestler, and I love wrestling. Oh, so. <laughs> and he put him in like a little headlock at the gym. Did, did Chad ever experience some of the wrestling moves? Absolutely. <laughs> Chad has like the funniest story when he first met my dad. Because he was, my dad told him to go wait in the car. They were going to go, uh, like, to lunch or something. And I don't know if you ever watched my dad wrestle, but he had these huge chains around his neck when he would, like, come into the ring. So he put those around his neck and had a sledgehammer over his shoulder when he came out of the house and, like, walked to the car. And my poor husband, boyfriend at the time, was like, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh. Because my dad, he's a big guy, you know? <laughs> And so when he got in the car, he said to Chad, don't worry, son, those aren't for you. They're for an illustrated sermon. So it, <laughs> it really scared Chad. So. Yeah. But yeah, my, my dad didn't have to be, has that been a, a, he'd have to be the dad that's like cleaning his shotgun. You know, my dad's like got his like chains and his world championship belt out and he's just huge. So, <laughs> yeah, but you should be more scared of my mom than my dad. Yeah, yeah, she, yeah. Cause your dad is a softy, but that mom, <laughs> like, I, I love that. Um, could you explain a little bit more about her? Because I think she works with the teenage pregnancy she does. and stuff she, like that. Mom, and I think that's wonderful. Yeah, my mom is awesome. My mom runs two pregnancy centers here in town, where yeah. she counsels pregnant teens, even you know people that aren't in their teens. Uh, yeah. and just all the nonprofit work that my mom does and her speaking and. We're, she is an awesome, awesome lady, and we always used to just joke growing up that, like, guys could get past my dad in a second. You can win him over, but if yeah, you get right. past my mom, then you know you're really winning. So yeah. she's she's the best, and she looks out for her girls big time. Yeah. 
So have you always had a problem with your parents, like intimidating the guy that you bring home? You know, I didn't bring a lot of guys home. I just didn't. Um, really, I didn't date a lot in high school. I wasn't allowed. See, that was my strict rule. I wasn't, I wasn't uh -huh. allowed to date. And then I got married at 24, so I didn't really, you know, have an opportunity to kind of get out in the in the dating world. Yeah. So right. when I met Chad and, you know, fell in love and knew that he was who I was supposed to marry, it just kind of, my parents loved him and felt the same peace that I did. And lucky for him, it all worked out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Also, now that you're a mom, do you sit back and see some of like the rules you had? Do you understand why that your mom placed those rules? <laughs> Absolutely. And I, I see myself parenting Salem a lot in the same way. And I know that as she gets older, I can see myself doing a lot of those same things. I mean, just the world that, and I don't know how old you guys are or what, but the world that some of these teenagers and these kids are having to grow up in today, it just, it yeah. scares me. And to know that my daughter is growing up in that and this next baby is going to grow up in that. Like you got to protect yeah. your babies as much as you can. And, I may come off a little overbearing and my mom may come off a little overbearing, but we like to think she raised some good girls. So she did something right. Yeah. Right. Right. Cause I'm, I'm, I'm 30 and he's 17 and I'm proud to say that I'm still a virgin. Woo! And so, is he. yeah. <laughs> and I've never been in jail. Don't smoke, nice drink or anything. Wow. Two thumbs up. Yeah. So. <laughs> That's awesome. So you and I are really close in age. I'm 31. Yeah, I'll be 31 this year, awesome. November. Oh, uh, 32, and I'm like, oh, next month. Oh, my gosh, next month. Like, seriously? <laughs> yeah, next month. But you still look young, so you are. Yeah, right. you look good. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, like, when I see all your sisters, I'm like, okay, now who's the oldest? <laughs> like, who's the baby? Like, really? <laughs> and your mom looks like a sister. She does. She totally does. And I've been mistaken for Colby a couple times, and I'm like, thank you. You're my new best friend. <laughs> So I'll take it. I'll look like a 17 year old sometimes. Right. Um, how, is your, how is your mom and dad's relationship? Cause I know, you know, they divorced and you know, he was trying to get back with her and work on that relationship. They're good friends. And yeah. I think it works really well for our family. Um, you know, they're, they're just good friends and it's nice for family, big family events. And you know, like this baby coming up, like my parents can be in the same room and you don't have to worry about that. And it's, I'm so thankful right. that the differences that they have between each other, that they've put aside and made a good friendship for their girls. So. Right. That's always a good Absolutely. thing. Absolutely. No, I can't say the same, but. <laughs> I understand. Yeah. It wasn't always <laughs> like that. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's all we have for you today. We want to thank you so much for thank doing this interview you. Uh, with us. And we hope to see you on season three. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. God bless you both, and I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, you too. Congratulations on the Thank baby, you. and I Thank hope you have you. a good birth and everything. Tell Chad and Salem we say hi. God bless. God bless. Bye.